Even in my ear, I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for your company this morning. Following a sellout visit five years ago, the Broadway West End and International Sensation Stomp returns to New Zealand and it promises to be better than ever. With its incredible energy and pure stage magic, the show will tour Wellington, Christchurch and Auckland in May. Kiwi performers Simon Watts and Ian Vincent are part of this incredible troupe and they are here to tell us all about it. Welcome, guys. Yes, welcome. Yeah, thank you. What an <laughs> pleasure. So tell us a little bit about your journey to get to Stomp. I mean, how did you start performing? Simon, you first. Uh, Started off at a young age. I was about seven when I started um, dancing. Tap dancing was first. It was kind of tap and hip hop that really um, took my fancy at the start. Went to a couple of classes here, got sick of that in two weeks, did a couple of classes here until I eventually found a group of guys that was under the name Boys Dance and uh, performed with Boys Dance and other d bits and pieces here and there until I got into some music and, and performing in lots of different ways until that kind of all peaked up into doing stop. To get to stomp and the interesting thing is is that we we're just having a conversation off air before my boys did boys dance as well at the same studio and loved it in fact i think you on new zealand's got talent back yeah. in the day <laughs> Ten years the ago. duo actually got my sons into tap dancing How about that, it's eh? a nice work yeah. job well done no that is that's good it's great <laughs> yeah, it's you know, awesome. inspiring other people to get involved that's good that's, no, that's good yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay ian tell us about your story how did you end up becoming a performer in stomp um my journey wasn't really by choice is kind of my sister was too young to take a class and so mum already paying for the class didn't want to waste her money so she said you're doing it I love this and dragged me in and then I just kept going I ended up enjoying it and studied in Wellington and then here I am so we've got your mum to thank for you being definitely this. yeah for sure and, and how do you become a part of the stomp crew do they have open auditions are you invited because it's quite a prestigious tour to be on so how tough is it to get into it Simon uh, so we've all come in through an audition process uh, some people they hold auditions in London and also in New York most of the time uh, Ian had a special occasion he was he auditioned in Australia um, donkeys years ago and I think you did So that was a private audition I think Ian did. Wow. So you, because it's hard to describe, isn't it? If people haven't seen it, it's not exactly dance. It's how mm. would you describe it? It's a tough one. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a mixture between movement and, and music put together with everyday objects. It's a high energy, um, how would you explain it? High energy performance out of everyday objects, spins, brooms, dustpan and brush, body percussion, matches, shopping trolleys, um, you name it. It's anything you could find in your garage. Yeah, you know what you we should do? Play. We should take a bit of a look, shouldn't we? And honestly, it is. I love the show. I'm really looking forward to seeing this version of it. Does it change much in different tours? Um, yeah, it does change in respect that um, we always get a lot of new cast changes. We've got a bunch of new people who have only been in the show maybe a year and a half. And with new performers comes a new take on the show. With We have eight roles in the show where we all swap around. So when, when you're changing roles, the whole show changes. Even changing, we were talking about this before, when you change the audience, it's quite an interactive show. So when you change the audience, that's another aspect that changes the show. So in, there's many small things that make sh uh, Stomp quite different. And you've time. been doing it for a while too, have you? 11 years or so? 11 years, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Do you use your arms a lot, Ian? I'm just asking. Because <laughs> <laughs> this guy's uh, got the most amazing um, arms. <laughs> I mean, we all use our arms quite right. a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mine just don't grow at the same rate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I've been trying, but... <laughs> so, so how long have you been doing this for? Uh, almost four and a half years. So this is your first tour of New Zealand? Yes, yes. Well, I started just after the last time Stom visited New Zealand. And do you notice differences with the crowds? As you say, you feed off the crowds obviously do you notice difference in in different countries where you go and how they react with absolutely it? Interact yeah with it? Um, different etiquette in different countries um, there's some some Asian countries that have the have the thing of staying quiet the whole time and at the end they they'll give their appreciation for the show but which is sometimes difficult for us because it's such an interactive show <laughs> um, so when you know the more we give as much as we can and then the more we receive the more it kind of amps us up as well so 
yeah, that interactive aspect is really nice. Mm. And mm. what's more important, to be physically fit or have rhythm? <laughs> I'd say rhythm is rhythm, more important. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, because that's quite a physical show, isn't it? You mm. must come off the stage exhausted each night. Oh, definitely. Um, it's a workout. Look at the arms. Yeah, <laughs> <a workout. laughs> um, like some days, it's like I mean, it's, it's like any job. I'm sure. Like some days can feel emotionally and physically harder than other days. You know, and then depends on how much sleep you get the night before, or what you've done the night before, or what you're doing during the week. Mm. Like, I find that some days are easier than others. Mm. Is there improvisation when you're on stage? Like, does somebody from the does it ever you just get, get given something that you have to use, or is the show quite set and you you know what you're going to be stomping and, and bashing? There's structure around the show, so so the show is written, mm. but then there are certain aspects where you can improvise. Um, you might be holding two brooms and you've got free range on whatever you want to do in this broom solo for, let's say, anywhere from a minute to three minutes of improvisation using two brooms. Do you try and one-up each other and sort of like go, well, he did that with the brooms last time, I'm going to get I'm one sure better. I'm sure there's like a, a quiet, <laughs> yeah, quiet competition's always healthy, you know, but, yeah. but no, it's always, you know, it's a supportive um, and group that we're in. Like, we're in association with the, the things that we play, that's all kind of chosen by our bosses, Luke and Steve. They provide, or they've made music with the things that you see, and we, they teach us, and then we don't really get to choose what we get to play. Right, so what's your mo what would you say would be your most favourite part of the show? You're not allowed to say the end. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but is there a particular moment where you think, this is me, I'm in my element? Um, there's a couple of parts in the show I really enjoy. Um, we do a part with, where we just use our bodies, called Hands and Feet. Because mm -hmm. um, I came from dance and a drumming background, it's nice to get out from behind the kit and limiting yourself only to your own body. So I think that's quite a ni nice way to explore rhythm with limited sounds. For me, mm. hands and feet is great. Mm. So can we have some sort of demo? I'm thinking, what have we got that we can use as a demo? Have you got, <laughs> I've got some I've things got some we some prepared earlier. Back oh, no. in a minute. I'll just raid Mark's no, kitchen. Yeah. Glass, okay. is that going to be a good idea? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you break the glass, it's all right. Okay. What about this too? Do we have this? And the guys have no idea what we're going to bring out here, so this is going to be total improvisation. <laughs> Do you want me to hold the glass? <laughs> I'll hold it there so it doesn't oh, smash do you want to all over the studio. Do you want me to hold it? Is yeah, cool. Don't, Let's yeah. try this. Keep it away from the fingers. <laughs> okay. One, okay. two, three, four. That's like when Dan spanked my bum once. <laughs> <laughs> Split the wooden spoon. That's really um, PC. That's brilliant. That's the thing I love about the show. It is just it's so energising. And when you watch it for the first time, you end up, you know, wanting to do all that. And you're right. It's amazing the the noise and the you know the music and the performance you can make with just objects around you, including your own body. And it must going to be very special for you, I guess, being a Kiwi but performing in New Zealand for the first time. Yeah, I'm pumped for that. It's it's a real thrill because. You go overseas and people don't really know what you're doing. Some have seen the show, some haven't. So to come back and mm. be able to show my mates that and show get them along to the show, and you know, rather than oh Simon's overseas busking with some, you know, with some pots and pans. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And a some yeah. 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 Um, Do you have is there, is there any work-related injuries that you have to look out for apart from obviously breaking wooden spoons? Um, I've had a few. I um, I knocked my tooth out here. You can see on the on the graphic at the back with those lids. I smacked myself in the face, knocked out my front tooth. Oh, I've oh. had hip surgery five years ago. Wow. Um, ripped a hamstring. Oh. Um, was out for three months. Like, that's mine. I, oh, I'm uh, sweet. And what sort of age do you reckon is going to enjoy it? Like, is it for all ages? It's definitely for all ages. It's um, like we get like toddlers all the way to grandparents like um, I think that's the beauty of stomp and that's why it's been so su mm -hmm. successful is that um there's no words it's all it's theater and music mm. and because of that you can go around anywhere in the world and everyone understands rhythm you know and so yeah. because of that even if you're 5 years old to 100 you know it's 
you understand it, you get it, and it's enjoyable to watch. Music is an international language for one of the less cheesy expressions. It is, and on that we're going to leave it. <laughs> no, Simon, nice. Ian, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Now the Stomp New Zealand Tour kicks off in Wellington on Wednesday, May 9th, followed by shows in Christchurch and Auckland. You can check out stomptour.co.nz for ticket details.